Oops. I just pulled my webcam down. Uh, does it still work? Oh, uh, just a second. Yeah, it still works. What up? Uh, PoE2. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably look at that in a bit. Let me let me open up the Uber Danger video. We'll watch that. Okay. Morons and Marodon. Pretty accurate. Serious question. Do you think anal sex should be illegal? All right, let's go ahead. We're going to take a look at the uh, at the video. Okay, guys, let's go. Last episode was all about world exploration, okay. questing, getting our mounts at 40, and engineering. So today, the primary focus is dungeons, he dating dungeons, and lots mm -hmm. of dungeons. By the way, I've realized that I hate these three-minute prologues. So let's cut yeah. to the chase and okay. stop beating around the bush. Let's we go. activate the altar of the keepers and summon the stone men. Right. When you kill each one, they blow up. So any seasoned WoW veteran will hide behind the pillars. Personally, yeah. I chose to face tank every explosion, Fuck take em. aggro on the last mob, get our whole party wiped, Good. then report Staya for toxicity when he called me bad. <laughs> then we may have wiped again Good. after Fuck someone riled up a mob of dark dwarves, after which, and yeah. you wouldn't believe this, we wiped wow. yet again. The way I what see a things, surprise. no one's really to blame. We're all equally at fault here. <clears throat> That's usually what the person who does mind, it wrong we says. We activate the altar of Arcadeus, and Ooh. I gotta be honest, this is probably the coolest boss thus far. This guy's a Alderman badass. is a sick dungeon, both thematically and in the sense 11 that damage. you need a sick sense of humor to design this fight. Arcadeus yeah. slowly summons these tiny useless stonemen one by one, and yeah. then suddenly when you expected the least, two giant elite mobs <laughs> zoom in and altercate our experience for the worse. After walking yep. a moderate distance, right. to be ganked right in front of the entrance to the dungeon oh. by a stun-locking rogue, uh, leading us to walk yet another moderate distance, it appears that the mobs have all respawned. And it is for this very Hold reason on. that World of Warcraft is by bastards and four fuckers. Anyways, this it's is how right. you're supposed to complete the fight. You yep. actually don't attack him, you just drag him all the way upstairs. Yep, so that he doesn't way, summon the bosses. It'll ages for the elite mobs to reach you, and you can defeat Arcadeus in the meantime, as wow. they say. It makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Oh, they that's good. Say that. That's... The Adventure of Swaldicus, Morons and Marodon. You better believe it. Is there anyone else that goes there? No. This zone is cool as fuck. In fact, let me tell you about it. Basically, what happened is that in Feralis, I made the executive decision uh -huh. to say, Man, fuck this shit. We're gonna do another dungeon. I okay. teamed up with some players I met during That's good. a robot chicken escort <coughs> mission in Tanaris. That's Along good. With my now level 60 friend Larry, oh, our wow. party was fucking stacked. Wow. Nearly five minutes into Zolt, oh, I acquired the best in slot gloves for my level. That's a really good one. We shit. rob some graves Congrats. and fuck up some zombies. Yeah. Then walk up this giant flight of stairs and execute the executioner. Free the caged Good. folks, and now begins the kerfuffle. In this really Which dope one? segment, that unlike most of the game doesn't this just is one of my like favorite parts of the game. I love this shit. We defeat hordes of enemies, and after a drawn-out, hard-fought battle, mm -hmm. we emerge victorious. Of course. At which point, the people we saved betray us, bastards. We make quick work of them. I always, and move I on never, to never understood and that. Ukor's sand scalp. Yep. Watch out for the snakes. Finally, we reach the end of Zulfarak, <laughs> where Garzilla emerges from the water. And Garzilla. with absolute conviction, we smite him from this plane of existence. The beast Our has been defeated. was admittedly a well-oiled machine. Yeah. Individually, you guys we are were pretty fingers, good. But together, yeah, they're joined things, no problem. to become a hand. There was not a single hiccup, and it was easily one of the cleanest dungeon runs thus far. All my party being mega overleveled probably helped, but I yeah, regret. Now... Well, they're Why actually appropriate the level, it seems. traveling to the southernmost tip of Kalimdor. Because good. by completing the Garzilla quest, I'm granted the carrot on a stick, which lets me move 3% faster whilst mounted. Vanilla WoW is monotonous and 15 years old, so mm -hmm. I made the executive decision to diminish the game's lifespan. 
Then Good. these trained World Same. of Warcraft professionals taught me about a secret jump. There's one single pixel that'll allow you to get on the cage in Gadget Zane, leaving you just out of range of the Gadget Zane bruisers, oh, meaning you're no. free to attack He's showing the safe spotting. Oh no! no repercussions. Oh that is until the no, spot is taken man. over by these fine gentlemen who showed me how it's really done. Yep, After dying is. to some pirates, I left Teneris. Then it's a great game. I yet again made the mistake of exploring new lands in I'm search banned now. of quests. Yeah, I'm gonna get banned. I made my way from Duskwood through Deadwind Pass, landing me in the Swamp of Sorrows, a name I would come to find accurately describes okay. the state of affairs around these parts. Okay. Although the WoW Wiki said it was appropriate for my level, there's barely any quests here. That the means it's appropriate for your thing level. was a giant sunken temple, oh, which no. happens to have a horde player on it who rudely informed me that I shouldn't be in this godforsaken place. With all my armor now in the red and my hearthstone on cooldown, I made the journey back to Duskwood. That's the Classic experience where I repaired right here. my armor and flew to Manithal Harbor, where I met up with Larry, who taught me how okay. to use macros. Oh, I wow. made one single macro to switch into Berserker Stance and activate Berserker Rage. Oh, then wow. decided that I fundamentally okay, that's had good. the optimal setup. By the way, check out this glory shot of me and my tiger. God. Dude, I don't know how many fucking times, dude, I took screenshots of myself with, like, the sun shining and, like, how there's the rays that go around your character and you feel like you're fucking Jesus, dude. It's so good, man. It is so good. I'm sick of this game. Anyways. I leveled my engineering to artisan level and crafted a handful of useful tools. You see, in WoW, your character has two trinket slots. And at the expense of a moderate amount of gold, engineers yeah. get access to devices that can circumstantially be incredibly useful. I Good. made the Gnomish Shrink Ray, which makes my enemy tiny and weak. The Netomatic Projector, which I should get engineering in a net. No, I, I think I should. That'll allow me to access Seems like a good idea. areas and get banned by Blizzard. These yeah. bothersome furries came up to me and bothered me. They kept uh, asking all these do. questions and all this stuff. However, Larry made them disappear by layering me. Always Ooh. a G. Larry and layering, I started a fight layering. pit outside Iron There Ford, it is. But I had an ace up my sleeve. An ultimate move, if you will. If Wait, what server is he on? Metaphors, which we are, I suppose you could say I had one in the chamber i was gonna lure my opponent outside of the ring and trap him with my net letting me win the duel even if i'm way lower level and under gear <laughs> sadly the net backfired and i captured myself leaving me at the mercy of an absolute whooping i had enough of pvp and yeah. ran all the men again with this role-playing dwarf who would type drinky every time he sat down to drink we nailed the Ooh. whole dungeon without a single mistake and drinky was an absolute fucking god at this game drinky he taught me how to use the rasp emote drinky i then won the roll for the uh. treasure chest, landing me a pair of completely trash bracers wow. that I would go on Congrats, to through close to no monetary gain. Yeah. To summarize about 10 hours of my life, even with PvP trinkets, free action potions, and a level advantage, mm -hmm. I still don't beat mages 1v1 in world PvP. I also you never will. still don't know if I'm enough of a man to level to a point where I'd have fair grounds on which to review WoW Classic. And yes, I still ninja loot chests yep. without rolling for them. It's worth it, I'm telling you. I make always do that this whole bullshit that people have about oh well i'm gonna go ahead and you know fucking not uh what, what do you call it not not to assert shit you always just loot the chest and the way that i do chest is i loot it and if it has something good on it i link it and i'm like all right let's roll on the item like i know that's not what most people do but that's the way i've played it for a long fucking time sub mode yeah we had some bots uh, mods are dealing with the bots take off like a bandit then I made a tailor turn my mage weave cloth into mage weave bolt, at which point Rashmak approached me with a dubious offer. I with materials that weapon. I could purchase in the auction oh, wow. house for what I would describe oh, as a wow. compromising monetary setback, he would enchant my yeah. fiery war axe with a fiery enchant, making it a fiery, fiery war axe. A Do fiery, you know fiery war axe. That's that great. Me? I fucking love this game, man. I know it's a bit of a circle jerk, but despite all its flaws, this game yeah. is genuinely rewarding at times but all these negligible pieces of information are yeah, there is that compared to what i'm about to tell you a few days later is the very moment in time where yep. i would cross paths with my soon-to-be new wow gf i met yep. amiri in strangle for veil she'd been mailing me for weeks and had finally managed to find well, they're not me. even in a guild during the solo warrior the leveling fuck? experience she was a godsend together we completed yeah. nearly every single quest in the fuck is he doing 
After which we got E smashed <laughs> at it's, 6 a.m. It's, it's such a dog shit game. Like, just watching new players play the game, it's really funny. Like, you just think about all the things in the game that are just complete fucking dog shit. Like, you just go to attack something, it's a miss. And then they hit you, it's a crit. And then you attack them again, it's a parry. And then you finally kill the mob after, like, running back from your corpse for five minutes. And you loot him, and he doesn't drop the item that you need. And you need ten. And you have three. And then you finally finish the entire quest two hours later. And you go back to the town. And you're like, okay, I've gotten this done. And you're a hunter and they give you cloth bracers that have intellect on them. Or better yet, cloth bracers that have strength on them. It's... Oh, and you don't get hardly any experience either. And you know what you do? You keep playing. Because you're in it now. You're level 44. You're not going to quit now. You're so close. You're going to sit there and endure this until level 60. And you'll hate your life the entire time. And then you think that at level 60 it's going to get better. It won't. But you keep playing anyway because I've already invested 300 hours into this character. There's no way I'm going to quit now. I've already got to 60. I've got to keep playing. I have to keep playing. I'm already 60. I can't stop. It, it's it's great. Like WoW is probably the best example of the sunk cost fallacy at work. What the fuck am I doing with my life? Nobody knows. In an excited delirium, I decided to ditch Elizabeth for being disloyal and low level. It's entirely Fucking unacceptable bitch. that she has a real life. And that yep. she's not actively carrying me through the game. It was cute while it lasted, boys. Later, bitch. Three silver. Sad. Emiri, on the other hand, now that's a banging wow GF, let me tell you. Whenever New I don't log on for a week or two, right, I get dude. worry letters in my mailbox. Whenever I do log yep. in or go anywhere, she immediately appears next to me, ready to fight for my life or die trying. What Always bringing fuck? gifts in form of potions and elixirs, for she is an she's alchemist. A, she's a guardian I angel. She loves killing horde players. Yeah, she's a and guardian she angel. Larry a boomer for not revealing his age. <laughs> it's perfect. Prior to this, Larry was my only okay, real comrade dude. in Azeroth. Now, oh, there wow. are two. Some would find it creepy that I'm logged in for less than two seconds before the DM lands. Jonathan, where have you been? Did you get my message? But I see this as the very level of dedication necessary to be a top shelf certified S plus five star WoW GF. Now, I could talk about the Halloween event. Oh my god, dude. Imagine logging in, dude. There are people that do this shit to me, dude. Every day I log in and they message me. They're like, bro, dude. You're on early today, man. What up, dude? Hey. Hey, you know what I do? Never respond. Never fucking respond. Because the moment that you respond... They're like, oh, that's my boy, dude. I'm going to keep messaging you every fucking day. Like, it sounds like an asshole thing. But listen, I'm an antisocial motherfucker, man. Like, I, 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 I'm I, not introverted. I just never like to see anyone. And I like to sit in my room all by myself in the dark, listening to heavy metal, playing World of Warcraft, okay? I'm not introverted. I just like being alone all the time. Th that's it. I, like, there's never a better mood that I'm in. Than if my friends cancel plans. Like, yeah, man, we're not going to go out tonight. I'm like, really? Really? You're not going to go? Oh, man. Bro, dude, I was looking. Dude, man, I wanted to go down to 6th Street and be next to the guy with the snake and the drunk people and the guy that probably has a gun. Wow, dude, that's too bad. We're not going to go down. Oh, and then we don't get to go to the club. That you you get a hearing a uh, hearing disorder from, you can't talk to anyone. Oh man, that's the drinks are only eight dollars there for a shot. Oh dude, I guess we're really gonna miss out today. Shit. Okay, guys, I guess I'm just gonna have to stay in today. It's too bad. How we got these horrendous dwarf masks? About how I ran Zolfarak again with a group of skeletons. But honestly, all those tales yeah. are benign compared to our journey to Maradon. Oh. 
music. Look at that music. Ooh, it's fancy, 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 fancy. And now what? I love this song. This is a, this is a real wow shit right here. Now, experienced WoW players... It's more than honest, standing and hitting. ...may look at that and think to themselves, Moonglade, Winterspring, and Feralas. What in God's name does any of those places have to do with Moradon? Well, allow me to explain how I well and truly shit the bed and made a crucial mistake. Okay. Now I'll up and admit it. I fucking hated the mid-level 40 grind as a warrior. Everybody it basically did. boiled down to inefficiently questing in Taneris and Stranglethorn Vale or running Zulfarak and Alderman. No matter how yep. you look at it, it's just cookie clicker with extra steps. So I was ecstatic to reach level 46 because that meant I could run Moradon. Yep. I want to make sure to pick yep. up all the quests for the dungeon so I looked them up on the WoW wiki. Many oh, of them no. can be picked up in Desolus, but there was yep. one that I had to travel quite far for. I flew to Menethil Harbor and sailed to Darkshore, from where I went down into Ashenvale, the southeast London of Azeroth. Yep. From there, I went onwards up into Fellwood. You see, I had my eyes set on Moonglade, where Ooh. I'd pick up the final Moradon quest. I yep. run past this quest marker with perfect focus, knowing full Fuck. well that it's more efficient to stay on the task at hand than do every quest I see. True. When I reach the Furbolg stronghold, I'm humbled yet again. It oh, turns there out you that go. by default, I'm at <laughs> war with the Furbolgs. Considering I Surprise. can't even manage to fight any single one of them, clearly I'd have to find another way into Moonglade. Emiri joins up with me, and being the perfect WoW GF that she is, mm -hmm. she informs me that to ally with the Furbolg, I'd need you to grind reputation. Funny enough, wouldn't you believe it? That's absolutely the quest I ran past earlier. That's By a little way, bit low, man. In vanilla WoW is very rewarding. Oh, they're only 40. It basically okay, boils down. It's very complex, but it basically boils down to killing the same enemy yep. over and over and over again. So now we start doing the Furbolg's dirty work, and apparently the only way to become friends with these savages is to win yep. a territorial land war with their enemies. Are we yep. even the good guys at this point, or is this indeed what weak cowards would describe as morally abrupt? I'm sure the Lord. A little told bit of both. Us, but let's be real. I installed Questy a long time ago. Fuck reading every quest in this game. Yeah, that in was fun for five time, minutes. We managed to go from hostile to unfriendly, granting us safe passage through the stronghold. I'm surprised this they're not getting ganked. This was where my crucial honestly. misstep started dawning on me. Yeah, it's you crazy. See, Questy showed absolutely no quest signs anywhere in Moonglade. After a quick double take on the WoW wiki, it turns out this is where the quest ends. It starts in Desolus. As a new player, finding this out was very disappointing. I you bet see, it was. every single other dungeon, bar none, has got their quests spread all over Azeroth. And for whatever reason, the only dungeon where I truly bothered to pick up every single quest and traveled, mind you, literally halfway across the world, Probably is the took one an hour. dungeon that conveniently has all the quests <laughs> in the same place right next That's to great. the dungeon. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh boy. All right. Go on here may have been foolish, but it was intelligent compared to my next move. You oh, see, fuck. I boldly presumed that Moonglade doesn't have a flight path, seeing as the flight master I found was only for druids. Taking the Hearthstone Wait, would it? also be inefficient as it's set in Ironforge, I have no idea. which is quite far from Desolus where we're headed. Emiri and I ride all the way back to the Furbolg stronghold and make our way through the end game zone. It does? Yeah, I, I have no idea. When we finally I reach never the fucking flight go there. path, I get yet another taste of the delicious first time WoW player experience. Getting you killed. See, I didn't have any connecting flight paths to Winterspring, and therefore I wasn't able to fly anywhere. As it turns out, ha 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 I'm laughing, ha ha ha. There is a flight path in Moonglade what that's a great actually game. required to fly what from a Winter great Spring. Game. It just happens to be in amazing. a random location out in the woods that Truly no one amazing. would randomly run into. So I go all the way back to Moonglade and pick up said flight path, then fly to Desolus where I meet up with Emiri. And okay. the best part was that at 5 a.m. our odds of getting a party for Moradon were close to null. So yep. I humbly come to terms with the fact that I spent an entire night getting two flight paths and some reputation, then begrudgingly turn off my computer. But the then... day after though, 
I rose to the occasion and fi See, that's the thing. Is he logs off, he's like, I hate this game, I'm done, I'm tired with it. And then the next day, he gets up, he's like, well, what am I going to do? <sighs> well, same thing I do every day. And you log back on. You just log back on. Like, there's nothing else to do. Like, that's why I get it. Like, I don't, I really don't know what people who don't play World of Warcraft 18 hours a day do with their lives. I, I, I don't know. Like, do they just go out and, like, talk? Like, I, they go to work? Well, I mean, all right, besides work, right? Yeah, of course they go to work. But, like, what do you do with your free time if you're not spending it playing video games all day? It's just, it's such a, a weird concept to me. Because me and everybody that I know, that's all we do. We go home from school or whatever, and we just play video games all day. It's great. And I, I can't imagine a, any other life. Finally started playing with my guildies. You see, our old guild, who shan't not be named, had merged with a couple other guilds to form Prevenge. The deadliest fucking group of Prevenge? lethal Azeroth assassins on the planet. The fuck is Prevenge? It's actually hella psyched to be part of an active guild that actually has their shit together. I even went on Discord with my fellow degenerates oh, wow. throughout our Moradon crusade. What a fucking I nerd. I look fucking cool, man. Man, you look like a virgin. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> The vast. I, oi, bruv, oi, bruv, oh, oh my god, dude. I just. I really. Like, one thing that I really think my stream is missing is, uh, besides bots, mods, if you can, um, uh, besides bots, is being able to go in voice chat without needing to worry about. getting banned i would love to be able to just sit there and voice chat and just bullshit with people all day long and if people can say whatever they want it's fine i love that it's so exciting and i, I wish it was more of a thing come my Majority discord then no no that's fine do within the advertiser guidelines i don't think i so can do it, it has been cut from the video. Yeah. What you need to know is that Moradon is a fantastic dungeon and Prevenge is absolutely the best guild on EU Nogginfogger. Is that right? with the exception of buying GF. But that's neither here <laughs> nor there. If the people good guild we team up with for dungeons are irredeemable yep. bastards who are lowly intelligent at best, uh -huh. then my Prevenge guildies are Azeroth guerrilla soldiers. They're fucking raid hardened World of Warcraft primates. They got this shit on lock. Yeah, they're actually are doing pretty good. through the dungeon to Princess Theradras. Watch out for the deadly farts. And watch out, she throws a rock. Yeah, it's very oh, hard to deal oh. with. We kill her in hopes of getting me the Blackstone Ring. Oh. Which is undisputedly the best ring warriors can wear until several content updates come That's out. That's a big After one, dude. Theradras I cannot wait to get that. Rodgrip to try and finesse the Albino Croc skill boots for Amiri. Okay. Who, by the way, was very loyal when my guildies made advances. After okay, Rod good. Grip, we turn our party into a raid party so we can effectively reset the dungeon by logging out and back in. These yep. people knew their shit. We oh, ran the dungeon shit. A handful of times and got me the black stone ring, an absolute powerhouse of an wow. item. Wow. Then I asked my experienced, wonderful, erratic, temperamental, assertive, banging wow GF yeah. to show me the world. As per the ancient rituals, the bonding is not complete before she takes me on a journey. Okay. When she took me to Don Moreau, I began to suspect that this was a ripoff of the Wetlands run, but I should have known that my trust was far from misplaced. Yeah. She brought me through the Valley of Kings to a menacing locked gate that leads to the Searing Gorge. All to right. get the key, one would have to undertake a trilogy of quests, Aww. but Amiri is goddamn perfect. She's mastered lockpicking and oh, is wow. able to lockpick the massive gate. Allowing Damn. us to ride headfirst into the Searing Gorge. Oh, that's great. I had only been able to observe from the air. 
Probably better that, that way. had always intrigued me. A zone Wait, that this? is absolutely ruthless and filled with horde players. I was about, I was just about to say this, dude. To take their ADHD medication. Yep. We weren't gonna take it lying Welcome down. Welcome to the though. game, buddy. The second we saw Nut Buddy, we jumped him. They feared yep. me, leaving me incapacitated, able to only watch them beat up my WoW GF whilst I cowered in fear. Hey. Extremely disrespectful. When they killed the Amiri, is. it invoked my primal fucking hatred. With pure skill and absolute determination, I crit yep. Nut Buddy twice, ending his oh, wow. existence. His friend Bang Doi slows me and flees. Dude, like this is getting me pumped for PvP, is. man. Clearly didn't get the memo. Like, I'm getting pumped. 47. Just watching this. I'm a this is expert awesome. At this game. I use my macro to there switch you go. into Berserker stance, letting me intercept his coward. Ruda, man. With a clean double He's getting away. Fiery, fiery war axe. I oh. stood victorious. Wow. And you better believe we camped their corpses. God, I'm glad I picked Night Elf. <laughs> Stealth, front flips, you move really fast oh, every time no, you die. Man. A fucking tiger for a mount. Anyone not picking this race dude. are clearly on the wrong side fucking of history. Fucking got him. <laughs> Speaking of being on the wrong side of history, this cunt shamelessly took us out even though he had nothing to do with our kerfuffle. The That's fact right. that I would go on to forgive Bang Doi and quest on in peace Free is honor. a testament to how good of a fucking person I am. Yep. We went on to let a guy out of a locked bathroom. I question how we ended up in that predicament mm -hmm. in the first place, but when I get over 5,000 XP for little to no work, I time. don't ask any it's questions. It's a really good time. I just take the progress, turn around, and walk away. This is how you play World of Warcraft. You leave your trusted companion to die mm -hmm. so you can loot the scroll of for course. the quest. Get hit with a regularly occurring 20 second polymorph. Ah! Once you finally break 20 out second of said CCs. Spell, you focus Vanilla's on a what's great game. Truly important. The goddamn quest. With your priorities uh -oh. in order, you gonna die. nearly complete the quest, but get interrupted once more. <laughs> then die oh, to the mob that you could have probably killed had you worked together. Finally, you yeah, undergo probably. the walk of shame. We yep. went back to Ironforge to sell some that shit, many. 56 stock up on food, gold. potions, wow. and to level up my abilities. All right. Which, to be honest, I forgot was even a part of the game. Emiri <laughs> vowed to be my personal alchemist. I got my boy sending me godlike weapons and Damn, my girl dude. bringing me potions. My situation dude, he's getting the Asmongold godlike, experience. This is awesome. most players are not this lucky. She even yep. made me homemade cheese. Yeah, it this was is delicious. good. We teamed up with Larry on his second character, which made me feel a little bit iffy about my own progress. Not what? just had he leveled his gnome warrior to 60, he was also approaching my level oh. on a paladin. Granted, it's the easiest class to Got play him. in the game. It's basically an Azeroth runescape simulator. If yep. there's one class which is actually just standing and hitting, then that class would be paladin. <laughs> Speaking of, the patented stand and hit gameplay, Andy, I'll concede there that I was wrong. Vanilla WoW is yep. not just standing and hitting. Yeah. You it's can also jumping. jump. That's a whole element that I left out in my previous statement. Okay. And I can see now yep. that there's a whole dimension of gameplay that I had overlooked. You have Anyways, to jump at the same I time as the attack. And Amiri in the That's the secret. Gorge. We summon this dragon. And they I gotta away. be honest. It's been over a hundred hours of game time since I followed the plotline of this game. Yeah. I have no idea who this dragon is or what he does. For all I know, he. Same. The first time that I figured out that the guy was the dragon was actually in Classic WoW. Every other time that I did the quest line, I never could complete it because I didn't know that you had to click the staff in front of him in order to keep doing the quest. So I could never get to the end of the quest line. I never knew what would happen. He could be the final boss, or maybe he's our friend. All I know is I Not don't quite. ask any questions. I take the XP no. and walk away. I would go on to jump in the lava and die. Naturally, my Congrats. comrades jumped in as well to make me feel better. It goes back to the age-old saying, If your friends jumped off a bridge, would you do it? Yeah. Well, if you want to be a top-shelf certified 5-star WoW GF, the answer is yes. No hesitation. Oh, no. With haste. Immediately. Oh, no. We then farmed no. source for XP, finished off a okay. bunch of quests, and then traveled to Stranglethorn Vale to take a shot at the arena chest. I'm sure that'll Not go just well. is there potentially spoils of battle, but if you actually spent yeah. countless hours to loot it and get the Arena Master 12 times, That's you a can lot. turn them in for the Arena Grandmaster Trinket. I should maybe get that. Which is actually half decent. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, this game, man. <clears throat> One of these days I'll get that. The moment the chest spawns, I agreed for it, only to be fumbled by a priest with his cursed spells. I have no oh. idea what they do, but they interrupted my looting. It didn't oh, matter though, because being a group at the arena is so scummy. 
Having two bodyguards skanking on my behalf, yep. I to loot the chest, a.k.a. Yep. the authentic Gold experience, and I make off <laughs> like a bandit. Oh no, man. To celebrate our what? absolute victory, we decided to sail out for adventure. Sadly, okay. with my brainlet, lukewarm okay. IQ, and absolute piss-poor hand-eye okay. coordination, I fall off the boat. When it takes off, yeah. most people would be surprised to find out that I have access to forbidden knowledge. I merge with the boat and start frivolously skipping across the water. What you the fools. fuck? You underestimated my power all along. What the fuck? I'm he unstoppable. Look at the technique, the grace, the dignity. What the all this fuck? Time, I faked being a really bad beginner at this game when deep down at the what very the core of my What the fuck is this? Was actually the greatest of all time. A true legend. How the hell is he doing I'm this? actually the fucking champion is what I'm telling you. Do you I've feel never seen my this sheer before. fucking energy? The oh my god. My step, the glint in this my eyes. The fire in my belly. What do you take me for? A goddamn fucking casual. No, I'm the greatest. And then I load into Kalimdor, losing all my momentum. Incredibly unfortunate. Along with me, my ego <coughs> was buried at sea. I had dreamed of a glorious death in battle with demons, oh no. gods, or even drawing my last breath killing horde players. Yeah. Yet in my final moments, I'm cold, alone, and I have no one to blame but myself. Moral of the story? Fucking trash, 15 year old game, you can't even boat skip. Literally unplayable. The game sucks. The game sucks dick. What a bunch of trash. Alright. So... This video was actually really good. I didn't really know what to think about it or anything like that, but... The video was genuinely good. People pushed me to watch these videos for a while. Uh, I'm not logged in. Asmon, where's your WoW girlfriend? Okay. All right. All right. That's, uh... That's fine. Your wow girlfriend calling you Jonathan every time. Johnny, that's your wow mom, not your wow girlfriend. Yeah, it's actually true. Uh, careful, a girl like that is likely to have...